So you want to code your BMW? Well in today's video I'm going to show you just how to do that. What's up you guys welcome to the video if you're new here my name is Josh I appreciate you guys for tuning in to another video make sure to go over and check me out over at JG media over on Instagram in today's video we're going over how to code your BMW your mini Cooper or your super with an application called Beamer code Beamer code is a paid application found both in the Apple App Store as well as the Google Play Store it's actually available to download for completely for free as there is a demo mode you can go in and check out but in order to code your vehicle you will need the full version of Beamer code which is a one time purchase and you'll be able to have the accessibility to code your BMW and unlock the features that are already within your vehicle so without further ado let's head on over to the website so here is the Beamer code website like I said it's available for download on both iOS and Android scrolling down a little bit so coding your BMW your mini or your Toyota Supra made simple you scroll down a little bit I also wanted to discuss if you have any concerns whether your car is compatible or not there is a supported car option and you can go in and check out the compatibility of your specific vehicle as well as if you keep scrolling down there is an option that Beamer Code does have a list of recommended adapters that they do recommend so if you go in here are all the adapters so going in I think it's really cool that the keys adapter is an available option now as the keys Wi-Fi adapter is the adapter I personally use as well as an adapter I would personally recommend I would recommend this adapter being that it's not only super quick to connect to the car as well as actually run the codes very quickly but it's also cross compatible with numerous different applications like boot mode beamer link MHD X delete all these different applications that just makes this adapter an all-in-one universal adapter that just makes this the best go-to adapter in my personal opinion. So this is the adapter I've been using for a little while now and the adapter I would definitely recommend. So then once you're out in the car, you're gonna wanna go ahead and put the car in accessory mode, which is clicking the stop start button just one time in this F30 320i. You're gonna wanna go ahead and kill as much power as possible. So, so then turn off the air, the heated seats if that's already on, as well as making sure your headlights are off. I usually code with my seatbelt on as well. So then once your adapter is plugged into the OBD port, we're gonna go ahead and go into our Wi-Fi settings. So then with connecting to the keys Wi-Fi adapter, once you're in your Wi-Fi settings, we're gonna go into Wi-Fi, connect to the keys. If you're not already connected like I am, you're gonna go ahead and need to type in the password, which is keys one, two, three, simple as that. Once you're connected to the Wi-Fi, we're gonna go on over to the Beamer Code app, click connect, and then we're gonna go ahead and connect as right now we're in the three series, continue. And as you guys can see, it's gonna shoot on in and connect very, very quickly. So then once we're in, I'll show you which adapter I'm connected to as it already did that automatically. So it connects very quickly. So going over into the settings at the bottom right, when you see adapter, so here are all the adapter options. So like I said, either the ENET cable option or the MHD black option, and it'll connect super quick. So we're on the MHD option right now and it connected super quickly. So here are all the control units, the modules that you will have access to. So one thing I wanna know about the specific Keys Wi-Fi adapter that I'm using is not only is it connected very quickly, but let's say, let's take for example, the FEM module, which is this module right here, the front electronic module. With the old adapters, it used to take forever to load this module, being the FEM module is one of the bigger modules. But look, let's go in. We'll go into the front electronic module right now, and it was not even three seconds it took to load. So that's why I use the Keys Wi-Fi adapter because it's lightning quick and for something that you know a few extra seconds goes a long way before with the old adapters it used to take not even kidding like 30 seconds to a minute so when you're sitting in your car 30 seconds to a minute it feels like a while but there's a big difference between three seconds. So then scrolling down, I'm not gonna go into any specific coding procedures right now, but just to show you guys a little bit, the FEM module, like I said, is a very big module. There's a bunch of different things that you can go in here and check out. 
but let's say okay this is one of my favorite codes the horn signal when locked in the car when the engine's running so let's say for instance you're you know you want to go start your car in the morning it's seven o'clock in the morning before work it's pretty cold out so you go start the car to warm up the engine but then you go back inside i like this feature so that way when i go inside and i lock my car the once i lock the car the horn beeps twice to let me know that the car has been locked so something as simple as that are the little things that beamer code offers that makes the app so worth the one-time payment so then let's say you wanted to go in and code this you would click on this specific code you would activate it in this case it's already active so let's say i wanted to make it not active once you hop back out you would click code and then the note would pop up you want to check that out as well and then once you hit start coding it's going to run through the procedure you're going to get a few lights and a few things light up on your iDrive as well as your dash that's normal that's to be expected and then as quick as it connected and as quick as it loaded up the FEM module it will code the car very quickly it'll let you know once the coding is finished and successful and it's really as simple as that so I'm not going to go in and code that because it's already coded but just for your example so then there's just a ton of different things you can go in here and don't i wouldn't necessarily say mess around with like once you know what you're doing and once you've watched a few videos or once you have a specific code in mind but once you start like doing the research and figuring out what you want to do there is a ton of different things to go in here and look at and go in here and code if you wanted to side markers turn signals tons of different things as well as tons of different modules so it's going out so let's say you wanted to code let's say the iDrive startup animation so right here the start screen the animation as well as the here's the animation right here so let's say you wanted to switch it up to let's say the Alpina so this will be a more specific video where I'll make one video on just this coding and I'll show you guys all the different options that are available and what they actually look like once they are coded but yeah there are so many different things to code which is in my opinion what makes beamer code so well worth it because it unlock all of these different capabilities that are already within our car's capabilities so then scrolling down there's the instrument cluster there's the rear electronic module which when i coded in the lci tail lights in my f22 in a prior video i'll link that up here if you want to go check that out we had to go in the rear electronic module to code in the voltage monitoring for the led tail lights so for stuff like that to just be able to do these things on your own as opposed to having to go to a shop and have these things done for you it just makes working on your car and doing things to your car so much easier so as you guys can tell, coding with Beamer Code is a very, very simple process, something we can all do in the comfort of our own driveway. It's something that is just very simple to just unlock the car's capabilities that are already there and just give us access to personalizing our car to our own preference. If you guys are interested in the Keys Wi-Fi adapter, it'll be that first link down in the description. I appreciate you guys for watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to let me know as well as if you want, you can reach out to me over on Instagram. I'm pretty active over on JG Media. Over on the gram so if there's any specific videos you guys want to see on specific coding procedures do let me know and i'll be happy to make those i will also be making a bunch of dedicated specific coding videos so that way i can show more so the before and after of what these codes are capable of doing but like i said i appreciate you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one peace